with my hoodie. My hoodie, I can't get it. Look, you just got an award Wait. and you can't even put your hoodie on. I know, well I didn't get an award for putting on jackets. Okay, so what are we doing? Well, um, from what I understand, my limited knowledge is that we're heading outside to go to a place called Sweet Side. No. Nope. Um, we're going to- Well, I, we were gonna do Sweet Side, but then you wanted Bodhi, so. Just get coffee. Huh? We could do coffee instead. What? I'm open to anything. Let's go get coffee. All right. That goes well with Christmas lights. Are we doing like Starbucks coffees or are we walking the sweet side? Sweet or we're gonna go see the Christmas lights. Yes. That's what we're gonna do. I and understand what's happening in my life. I'm glad you totally remember. All right, it's kind of a gloomy night. I love this. It's all foggy and delicious looking. I mean, I just kind of wish there wasn't a sprinkly misty rain in here. Ooh. All right, Kimmel gets to get in it too. If I have to. So yes, we're walking down to see the Christmas lights. They have a thing in Baltimore called Miracle on 34th Street. And this street completely decks out all their uh, houses with lights and things and Santa and- Hopefully it won't be too busy. Stuff. Yeah, it probably will be. It's, But it's you know, like kind of not the best weather for her. I mean, people come out at all times here. That's Baltimore, they're not scared. If they're not scared of bullets, they're not scared of rain. Is that offensive? Um, so how was your day, by the way? What'd you get up to? Did you already film it all on here so they already know? Uh, I filmed a bunch of stuff, but they don't know. Mm -mm. Uh, that sounds like somewhat inappropriate. I'm down. I wouldn't. Uh, okay. Ooh, there's more pretty lights coming up. I think Keswick has some pretty lights on it. So pretty. I am filming the lights because they're pretty. Oh, and I'm watch out for that. What? <laughs> Jimmel almost trips. Cut that out. Christmas time is my favorite time of year. Why don't people just decorate all the time? What? What? What, what are you doing? I was right just now. getting a shot of you actually filming so you could be in your own vlog. Uh oh. Ooh, that's pretty. Pretty ominous. It is pretty. What are you doing? It's so bright. So bright, so vivid. Look at this bumper sticker. Which one? All of them. Uh, you know you're from Baltimore when there's like a divine. So uh, we live in Baltimore and there's this little neighborhood, or this, I guess you could call it a street that's maybe like two blocks from our house called 36th Street. Thank you. You're welcome. And um, <laughs> it has like a bunch of cute little shops. So if you're ever in Baltimore, how they recommend coming here. And you can kind of see down here, there's just a bunch of like antique shops and places to eat and stuff like that. So super cool. And then people waiting for you to cross the road, which is very kind of them. Look, I was filming. Well, they don't give a shit if you're filming. Well, how do they know I want to cross the street? The problem is they don't know. And then they're like, are you? Will they? Won't they? Okay. So as you can see, there's just like lots of fun things. I'm a sucker for the pretty day. Including Kimmel. That's the most fun thing around here. They also have um, the unofficial mayor of Hampton. His name is Killer Cat. What up, Natty? He got sick, but like when we moved in, he would just be chilling outside this little sushi place called Nori and the owners would just feed him fish every once in a while. Um, but he's a very cute Instagram. So you should definitely check that out if you like cats or Instagram. Oh, oh. So pretty. This is cute. Look at this up here, this floral thing. Oh, that's cool. Isn't it? Look, this, is one of my, this is one of my favorite little shops to go into. Yeah, they do a good job because they have the single shoe on the shelf. Oh my gosh, Kimball, let's get that for you. That would look so pretty, that like deep V crystal All right. thing. Okay. And then you can wear the tiara. All right. Okay. They do a good job. I approve. Do you approve? I 100% approve. Love the street. It's like you turn the camera off for one second and then it's like you turn around and there's something else to look at. Oh, I have this thing whenever there's like inanimate objects that are like making O face like ow, I have to like film it. Ow, it's just part of my problem. It's hilarious. I think the best was the uh, Macy's window last year. There were so many. It was Alice in Wonderland, or no? It was uh, Snow, Snow White. White, and like she was just spinning around with her mouth open. I was like, oh, it's so awkward looking, but hilarious. Thanks for doing that, designer. If I was a woman, mind you, could I pull that off? 
Yeah? You yeah, can like pull that off now. The shirt and, or the dress and the hair. Yeah. This sweater is actually really cute with the little ring. I like the it. shiny one. No, Look, no, I love this Barbie thing, by the way. I did too. I this old case. Super I cute. Pictures of it. All right, we're almost to sweet side. Far. There's the charmery. Where you can get a big scoop of vines. Yum, yum. This place makes my favorite. Can you see all of them from there? It's really dark. I'm just talking about that. Baltimore, stay humble. This is the coffee shop that makes my delicious coffee. We decided against coffee because we're probably going to get Bodhi. Yeah. Do they know what Bodhi is? is? I don't know if they know what that is. Bodhi is a Thai restaurant and it's delicious and it's, it's right I mean, there. it's over there. Anyway, we're, we're walking to... Show you later. Yeah, we're walking to 34th to see the Christmas lights to see if it's everything it was last year. You know, hubcap trees and all. Oh, sparkly lights. So the funny thing is if you move into this street, can you even see me? Probably not. Yeah. If you move into this street, you have to agree to decorate your house. It's Reason contract. number one why I would not move to that neighborhood. In case you get bored on a walk, you can uh, sit and watch TV. Yeah, I don't think they did. Looks, looks very cozy. It's hardwood story. I've I mean, we're not even to 34th yet, but we're so close. So I thought I would turn on the camera now. That's not look like a hardwood story. Look at Santa with his little glasses on. And his toilet. They do a thing called the toilet races here, so they basically race on toilets. The end of that's the end of the story. Fun here we, fact: here we are. People use those like cheap LED lights, and you film it on slow motion. You'll be able to see them flashing like. In disco light. Imagine you it's have like to just, do this every year. <laughs> it's funny because it's like tacky, tacky like, AF, but like in a good way, right? Not over the top. I mean, take it all in, that's what she said. Right. I wonder if they're like assigned decorations that they have to do. I don't know, how did they get the lines across? Between the street, like between the buildings. Throw them. So a big thing in Baltimore is uh, flamingo. So John Waters, when he grew up here, his parents lived in a nice house and he didn't like all like the shishi stuff. So he put pink flamingos in his parents' yard and now Baltimore is known for it. But they have a little flock party. It's a flock card and we weren't invited. I think we should look at the uh, hubcap Christmas tree. <laughs> you may know Baltimore from Trump calling it a rat infested. Good old hubcap. Nothing but the finest. Gotta represent the old bay. <laughs> what up, Snoops? Oh boy, what a black. All right, my love, shall we go get some Thai food? Please. Oh, uh, we're in Baltimore. Baltimore, as the locals say. We are not going to Bodhi anymore. <laughs> yeah, we, we walked were, by and there was a line. Well, there was a line and they were packed. Bodhi's not a very big restaurant, so there was going to be quite the wait. There it is. This is where we decided to eat, and it too looks quite busy. 
probably isn't gonna do it justice filming it in the dark, but whatever. What? It's lit. It's Although lit. it is really nice like in the springtime because with all the flowers, they have like gardens like kind of surrounding the whole thing. So the entire outside is just covered in mannequins, covered in toys or coins. Wait, my favorite one's over here. You have to come look at it. All right, walk in the street because I'm safe. You have to do what I want. Giant cow with huge eyelashes and bejeweled udders, and the guy with the four cat hair. We love him. All right, let's go in, shall we? And then we got this dude just like standing guard in the bathtub. I need to learn how to walk without watching where I'm going. Little outside eating area, adorable. Sink with flowers. Welcome, welcome to your nightmare. What do you think? What do you think? I think there's lots of toys. Let's go in. All right, so we're sitting at the counter. We rarely sit here, but it's a Friday night. It's busy. Yes, this place too is busy. I like how it says, please don't talk to the line cooks, they bite. True. Aju, nice. We gotta get some coffee started, so. Thank you. Best server okay, in the world. <laughs> we love him. What? All right, we can move tables. So normally this table that we're at has a secret, well, it's not a secret drawer, but they got a drawer. And it has like drawing stuff in it and like books of like people leaving notes and messages and all that kind of stuff. But we don't got that now. So we got this, which is also full of fun little knick-knacky weird things and notes. Little tiny notes. What does it say? I'm not reading that one. It's really long. Zach and Katie road trip 2018. Random. This is our first big road trip together. Good job, Katie. And this place is our first stop. Aww. She knows what's up. I hope there's not like a used condom in here. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's on the last. Fun things to look at. Speaking of fun things to look at. Oh, the room. Rocky film in the room. They have so much good stuff here. Bye, Rocky. The little lady at checkout. Awfully close. The food has arrived. Yum yum. I got eggs. Kimball always gets on my case for eating eggs out because they're the easiest thing to make, but they're so good. I'm gonna use my McCormick salt and pepper grinders, and I really like these because I can control the granules. I got eggs Benedict. Hey you guys, welcome back to another Kimball's Corner. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, I have the Arteza, Arteza, Arteza. I've heard it pronounced so many different ways. I'm gonna say Arteza. Um, that just sounds weird, Arteza, whatever. The 60 acrylic colors, um, I just wanted to see how they were. I've heard great things. So I had to order my own set. So let's get these suckers open. See what all the fuss is about, shall we? 
I've been watching a lot of catnip illustrations. A little obsessed, she's adorable. Let's see. So what I'm thinking is, since I use Jane Davenport acrylics a lot, I'm gonna try and find similar colors to ease myself into the Arteza brand. Ooh, and use it for, you know, drawing a portrait. So just a few options. But I am gonna put together a little palette. I mean, this goes on forever, what the heck? Ooh, so we have an assortment of colors. I'm gonna select a few that I am comfortable using for like skin tones. I'll probably skip some of this out. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna skip a lot of this just while I pick my palette. Okay, so I really didn't limit my palette. I just kind of grabbed a little bit of everything. These are more for skin tones. Maybe some of these will be involved with those. I'm not sure. I really don't know how these play together. I don't know how I'm gonna wanna use them. Uh, but I decided I'm gonna go like more orangey browns for the hair. This one's just gonna go over there. I'm not really gonna use that. And these were gonna be more so for the eyes. I could probably throw in like a really dark blue or something. You know what, maybe I'll bring this one back. Bring it back now. This can be for like my black areas, for like eyelashes and stuff like that. I really don't know. This is a lot of color, a lot of options. May not use all of them. I mean, it's not always more the merrier. Sometimes it's just more the scarier. So um, yeah, I, I guess I'll get started. I have my Jane Davenport mixing palette sheets which I use a lot. See, this is why I don't like mixing colors too, because if I have a lot of leftover, I don't know what to do with it. Sometimes I'll just smear it into my journals. Sometimes I let it just go to waste. But that is one reason why I don't like mixing colors. So I do like having all these options because I can always add more and not have to go overboard. So I'm gonna put these aside. I also like that they stack. That's nice. Um, and come up with a quick sketch of I don't know, a face doing something. I'm looking for colored pencils, which are buried under the Arteza box. All right, the colored pencils that betrayed me. Let's pick a fun color to draw with. I'm feeling a light turquoise blue. I'll go medium. Oh, I have to sharpen it. We all know what happens when I sharpen pencils. I don't have the skills, apparently. All right. Let's carry on. Um, I feel like I should have a reference. That's the word I'm looking for. I'm gonna put on some tunes and see what I can do. Enjoy.
All right, you guys, there we have it. Okay, so I had a lot of fun. It's really messy because I wasn't trying to get too crazy. And I mean, it's on paper and it's not treated. So the paint absorbed quickly. Um, but once I got the first layer down, the second layer went on a little smoother. I could blend a little bit better, but really I just was mostly playing with color. I am obsessed with that neon pink paint. Not gonna lie. Um, I really don't like working with white paint, like white acrylic paint with a brush. I like the white paint pens better. Had a lot of fun. Really love the colors. Yes, it's messy, but I enjoyed it. I mean, it was just a quick play with Arteza paints. Arteza, Arteza, I don't know. Um, in the end though, I did have to bring in some Jane Davenport products to help me nudge things along a little bit. I forgot that regular acrylic paint is glossy and shiny and hard to work on, whereas Jane's paint is uh, matte, so I can go over it easily with colored pencils and other products. So I had to bring out her uh, acrylic paint pens to go over the actual acrylic paint. And it laid down really nicely. And also, I mean, the license to quill pen goes on anything. So I knew that wasn't gonna let me down. So yeah, I am really happy. I had a lot of fun. Yes, I enjoyed it, Arteza. I really like those products. I will try them on canvas at a later date and time um, and not just on paper because it reacts very differently, I'm sure, as most paints do. And I'll try and do an entire painting with just the Arteza and not bring in colored pencils. I will probably use some Jane Davenport products because let's be real, my girl's got my back. All right, you guys, thank you for joining me and I will see you next Friday and I hope you had a good time. Totals!